What's going on guys? So I finally decided to start diving a little bit more into some Middle Eastern fragrances. This is a fragrance line I've been having my eye on from Paris Corner. This is the Killer Oud line. Today we're checking out Death by Oud. This is going to be a first impressions. I have never touched anything from Paris Corner before. And uh, I don't recall what this is supposed to be a clone of or similar to or whatever. We're going to check it out. Stay tuned. So let's take a quick look at the box. I love the color scheme. Very shiny gloss. This is Death by Oud in cursive down on the bottom. 100 milliliter Eau de Parfum. Some info on the bottom. Some info on the back. Paris Corner logo raised and painted gold metallic on the top. Here we have it. It's a little crooked in the box, but it's okay. Nice cut piece of foam with some felt. It's in there pretty snug. It's a nice bottle. I'm definitely partial to frosted glass. It's definitely some good looking frosted glass, I have to say. Killer Oud with the Paris Corner logo and Death by Oud all in gold, painted in gold metallics, raised on the glass. Killer Oud. Paris Corner logo. Get it to focus for you guys. Come on. Oh well. Anyways, has the hanging tassels. Cap, kind of a almost Zerge off like look to it. Has some heft. A lot of metal. A little bit of plastic filling in there. It says Paris Corner on top of the atomizer. There we go. So <laughs> go figure for that. It focused quickly. Now we can actually show the back. There we go. Let's see if we got a sticker on the bottom. There we go. There we go. So we're going to spray this on skin. Screw it. Let's see what the atomizer is working with. Good mist. A lot of like medicinal oud spice. It's smoky. This is my cup of tea. I thought I would enjoy this one. I don't remember the note breakdown. Um, we'll take a look at the notes in a little bit. Obviously, there's some oud here. Oh, it's very warm. Warm, spicy, earthy. Very smoky. Tobacco. A little bit of tobacco smell here and very smoky. This is really nice. Doesn't smell cheap either. I paid 55 bucks for this on Amazon. Oh, this is good. This is soothing. It's not rough around the edges. It's got a very strong and assertive presence. I like this. Very masculine fragrance. But so smooth at the same time. Like, I'm kind of surprised. For all the animalic and earthy and... Kind of rugged notes, I guess you could say. Darker, essenced notes. It's very smooth. This is... This opening is magnificent. This is awesome. <laughs> this fragrance is awesome. I'm so happy with, with this. Bl complete blind buy. So happy with this. This is the kind of Middle Eastern stuff I like. Smoky, ashy, resinous, ouds. You know, just... Not a super funky type of oud either, but distinguishable oud, a little medicinal oud. There's some pencil shaving smell to it. There's dry woods. There's just, there's a lot going on here, and a lot can be picked out. A lot is discernible at the same time for being such a busy fragrance because it does smell like a busy fragrance, but blended to a point to where they don't just kind of meld together to make one or two or three accords. Like certain things are standing out. There's a little bit of a ambery feel to it. A little bit of sweetness starting to surface, just a little bit. Like this ambery and sweet, almost honeyed-like tone. Maybe a benzoin or something like that might be what's doing this, because it could be giving a little bit of a vanillic sweetness and an ambery feel. Could be benzoin. Benzoin's good for stuff like that. 
This bottle looks freaking awesome, by the way. It's a little bit of spritz, oils on the glass, but this bottle is amazing. I love this bottle. This is awesome. That dark ambery, like brown whiskey colored juice in this deep frosted glass. The tassel, this is this is worth every bit of the $55. Strong fragrance too. This is a very strong fragrance. I'm sure performance is no issue. Okay, let's let's pull up the notes, shall we? So I'm gonna go to the Amazon listing that I bought it from. I'm actually gonna pull that up on screen for you guys okay so here we go fifty five dollars that is what I paid for it that is the Amazon listing purchased from Aroma Concepts LLC on Amazon which I believe is the distributor for Paris Corner let's see where is the note breakdown here's some beautiful pictures here we go so according to the description here Fragrance notes is the top is grapefruit and lavender, so just a fresh and aromatic citrus top. Mid of leather, tobacco, and spices. I get mostly the mid. Base of oud and amber. So I get mostly, it's aromatic, sure, because it's, it's bright, but I get mostly the mid and the base. I get everything the mid and the base tells me. Leather, tobacco, spices, oud, and amber. But it's a very smoky type of leather and tobacco combo, or it might be the whatever, but it's very smoky. Now, this is according to the listing here. See if they give any more details about note breakdowns or anything like that. Nope. That is it, though. So I will have had it on screen for you guys anyway, so you won't need what's on my phone. But I'm impressed. It smells like there's a lot more going on than this note breakdown, though. That could be, it could be as simplistic as that note breakdown, and that might be why I'm able to discern so many different things. Because like I said, the entire note breakdown of the mid and the bass, I get all of that. I can pick out all of that. So I'm very impressed with this fragrance. I will be getting more from this line, from this brand, um, from Paris Corner, and then especially from this Killer Oud line, because I feel like I started off with a really good one to start with. It's not too much Oud. It's more leather, spice, and tobacco smokiness, ambery. You know, the oud's kind of a supportive note more than a front runner and like forefront type of note. This is really, really good. Full review coming down the line. I'm going to spend some time with this. This is going to jump in the rotation immediately. But uh, yeah, that's my first impressions on Paris Corners. Killer oud, death by oud. Well, that was my first impressions, and until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried this, and what do you think about it? How many of you have been interested in trying it? This was just my first impressions. I don't know what performance will be like, but it seems like it's going to be pretty strong and long-lasting for the most part. Um, it's very powerful coming off of my hand. Still have a really good sheen. I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up, but... Got a pretty good oil sheen for being an eau de parfum. And the presentation is magnificent. I'm really, really happy with my purchase. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on Death by Oud from the Killer Oud line from Paris Corner and you give a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.